Okay, what are we gonna do here? So you can see the bit that's worn off and actually my boot has touched there. So I need something to come out to here and I only really need to come up about, about this high somewhere. I'm not gonna have the foot pegs back on so that doesn't really matter. So I think sort of this squarish, this bend to here. So anyway, get the old stuff off. Taking all the snips off, and then I've just got this. Oh no, there's one left. Steel zip ties. Yeah, I think I'll take the pipe off, uh, clean it up, uh, and then we'll mark mark where this little uh, cover, fiberglass cover, needs to be. Okay, well I think I just want to go from here to here and this will be the front. So I've got this uh, heat wrap already. So what I'm thinking is that this is effectively fiberglass anyway, right? It's quite thick woven fiberglass instead of just you know, fiberglass matting. So I'm going to use this, but I want it to go around with a bit of an air gap. So what I'm thinking is that I've got this clay here, modeling clay, and I'll, if I put a strip on there, that's in the front, then I wrap this around, go around like a normal single layer of heat wrap. I fiberglass it so it goes solid, and then I might put you know, some extra layers on the front to make that quite a stiff lump fiberglass it all up wait till it goes off and then hose this out just you know hose it with a hose and it'll dissolve and then run away um, and then I'll be left with this wrap with a with an air gap that runs up the front so that front part doesn't get too hot um, that's my theory clamps just there so that my pipe doesn't roll over um, <laughs> what do you think uh, so I'm sure someone right now is going, oh my god, you're an idiot. That is never going to work. Uh, so good on you people, if that's if that's what you think. Um, some people might be going, yeah, perfect, that'll work. Okay, good on you. And for those of you who have no idea, uh, that's, that's how I am. I have no idea. And uh, we'll do it, and we'll see if it works. And if it does work, you can congratulate me. And if it doesn't work, you can say told you or you can say ah whatever so yeah that's what I'm thinking um, I'll give it a go I can always cut it off and just you know make a new one um, so yeah we'll see what happens I've got the resin and stuff I'll mix some up and uh, yeah do the first wrap Hey, I think that is uh, wet, so I'll just wait till that cures and then get those zip ties off, however I'm going to get them off, and then um, I'll do an extra, an extra layer, clean up the ends, see if it's going to work or not. Okay, so it's looking alright, but I have to get this clay out, so I'm just going to run it under the tap see what happens. Okay, well I think I've got it all out. Uh, I end up getting the hose, uh, the you know, jet nozzle on the hose and blowing it through. Uh, eventually it all came out, took a little while. 
Um, so yeah, I've definitely got a cavity, a, a, a hole through here, so it's not touching. So we can get a little bit of airflow. I, I'm just wasting my time or what, but no, I don't want to make it any thicker on this side, otherwise it'll get too close to my swing arm, and it's you know something that would be abrasive. So I just want to build up this side to make that quite stiff because it's a little bit, a little bit flexible still. Um, yeah, so I'll stiffen this up. Okay, cut another couple of pieces. I think I'll just put them, layer them over there. Okay, this time I think I'm just going to put these in here. Just saturate them. This is much thicker than normal fiberglass, so it doesn't really brush down into its shape like fiberglass does. Okay, sanded all the sharp bits off. I need to. I assume they're pretty solid. See what happens when it heats up, eh? down the bottom but it's loosish at the top. I'll go for a ride tomorrow and see if it melts off. Well I've just done about a 60 kilometer ride, freeways, local traffic and this thing still in one piece hasn't burst into flames yet. <laughs> so it's hot. Oh it is soft, look. Yeah, see it is a little bit yellowed in there, I wonder. Maybe it does get too hot. Maybe it is too hot for fiberglass. Don't know. Okay, so since this one um, overheats and it does burn, burn I'm going to make um, a half one that goes a half pipe with a couple of air channels running down it and then a zip tie at either end. So it won't be fiberglass right at the ends, just be fiberglass in this middle section to keep its shape. So that's my plan. So what I have done, so I found a bit of pipe, 50 diameter pipe. It's the same as the pipe over there. I've, I've uh, zip tied down two bits of half dowel um, just in the middle and then um, zip tied this down and then I'll fiberglass it from, I'll put the resin on it, from, from here to here and then I'll just keep that. So that's going to have the two channels down there but I mean they won't be open because uh, there'll be a zip tie onto the, um, onto the exhaust at each end. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So there's a bit of overlap in the middle, so it is thicker, but I'll do one. And then if uh, it fits nicely, uh, I'm happy with it. Um, I might do a second layer over there to thicken that up. So anyway, let's see what happens. So take, take my zip ties off and then my little wooden skewers out. Oh, they came out easy. That's good. I was worried they would be like glued in there. That's the basic shape. So I'm going to 
fiberglass. Put some resin on the inside. Because some of that's not. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just stay cloth and not resin. Because it's the resin that melts on the on the exhaust. Uh, and so I'm just gonna put one more layer over the top. And then um steel zip tie onto the exhaust and see how it goes so another day okay here it all is with the next layer on um, I think this is a bad idea having just the f <laughs> the, the, the um, material running this direction so you get all these frayed ends but I've just um, a little bit of epoxy on the frayed ends just to, so they don't un so they don't unfray hopefully the loose bit so that that'll mold to the pipe and then uh, the hard shell and I ripped my old one off to make sure that that sort of fits before I did the final gluing the old one off and um, yeah it's the more traditional way to wrap it around hmm anyway see what happens Okay, and so here is an attempt number two. So basically just a hard shell so that abrasion can't disintegrate it. And otherwise it's just a bit of carbon wrap with uh, a metal zip tie top and bottom. This bit there's no resin on. Resin just on the tips, just so that that doesn't just fray. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that one performs. Um, sorry, open on the back. So, uh, don't know. Maybe, you know, will this side heat up as much? Some zip tie marks still on that. I haven't sanded it or anything. I just want to see if it works. <laughs> So this little heat shield, let's see how it handled the last 700 kilometers. It's still tight. Just move it. Still tight, robust, hasn't frayed or damaged. I think it's good. I'm going to see how that runs for a while. I'm I'm happy. It, it smelled, um, um, you know, like superheated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stuff for a while but um, I think it held up well for a weekend in the rough stuff so um, yeah there you go I'll uh, keep you updated